project come to life in front of our eyes, I salute them. I think they deserve a round of applause. <laughs> Uh, firstly, this afternoon, I have asked um, one of our very senior designers, I'd like to introduce Milton Brown. He's been with the company for actually 14 years, one of my very first designers uh, that came to work with us, and he's still with us and doing more and more and better and better and fantastic stuff with us. So I'm really glad that Milton is going to uh, design for us. He's going to be putting together, as Nikki has said, actually quite a simple arrangement, um, but very classic using tropical flowers, all grown right here in the Cayman Islands. And we've used as a base, actually a very simple plate, white plate, and we've put pebbles in it. There's some foam uh, covered with moss on the top. Nothing too fancy, quite simple and easy to do. And then we're just going to go ahead and do um, the design using some heliconias, hanging heliconias, a miniature version. And then he's going to go ahead and make the design right in front of your eyes. Just to give you some background um, on what's going on this week as you're watching Milton in store at celebrations of course we're getting ready for this wonderful week of Mother's Day and just wanted to let people know that um, there is a fantastic little essay competition going on so uh, we're asking the kids to write a story uh, about their best mom and or, write, or paint a picture and someone could win um, actually two categories, five to eight year olds are competing and nine to 12 year olds are competing. And if you drop your entries into the store anytime up to Friday, then you could win. There's two arrangements going to be given away for the winners. Uh, as you can see, um, Milton has done a very simple um, classic design. He's used Croton. Um, and use that across the center of the arrangement. Um, and I'm sure the experts from Caymana Bay would give me all the names of these flowers. Um, I don't know all the proper names of them. Uh, and then of course, the beautiful Bougainvillea, which is so incredible in color um, <coughs> to bring vibrance to this arrangement. Again, heliconias, um, as I know, some may know, there is something like 500 variety, varieties of them, um, from some of which are the sunset, the spiral, fan, holiday, emerald, and many more. In fact, we had some at the entrance, you may have noticed. Um, when you came in, there's a very large, beautiful heliconia um, arrangement, and this one is the mini. Okay, and now Milton has shown me that he had just a pod and he has used a spray on it to insert and use to actually accent this arrangement. Uh, so these things are sitting all around us, really and truly. It's just a matter of looking and seeing what's literally sitting in front of us and around us and turning them into arrangements that really a thousand words. Uh, okay, and this one, um, Milton has used. Uh, this is a ceramic shell, a conch shell, or, but of course we have lots of them um, in the real, <laughs> not ceramic around us. So again, another great example of us to be able to use what's right around us in our surroundings to make something simple, beautiful, and effective.
I know everyone knows these grow profusely on the island. Um, and again, my um, names are not the best, but I know they grow in great profusion all over the island. Anyone have any questions or comments while as these are happening? Oh. This is Starling Kelly, the nursery manager. Oh yes, isn't that wonderful? This is what you call a great synergy. <laughs> um, so this is Starling from Caymana Bay. It's commonly called a papyrus. You said it, I remember it. Papyrus. Yes, that's beautiful. And the leaves are? These are um, Thai plants, cordylines. Okay, and that's a Thai. And the pods that we got in the first array. Yes. Do you look for any particular symmetry or asymmetry in things? What we find is the first thing you want to think about is where is your arrangement going to go? Where is it going to sit? Where do you want it to? What are you looking to embellish or to make special? Or usually we find floral arrangements are focal points. So once you define the space that you want it to fill, then you decide from there how high do you want it, how wide do you want it. Are you going to do a lot of color? Or are you going to make it blend with what's already there? So that's certainly the, the lines that we look at. And that's why in a lot of cases when we are doing arrangements, uh, especially custom stuff, we like to come in and actually look at where this arrangement is going to reside because it's really important to see the space that it's going to be in. Again, very simple, very, very simple. This has been all greenery. There's no flowers in it. And as you can see, a papyrus that I know grows in profusion on the island, very simply done, um, and in a real conch shell, could be even more beautiful than this and very, very effective. Thank you, Milton. That was great.